If you wanna ride, we can go We can touch the sky, yeah, I know I'm only a kid, it's a hit or miss We can feel the vibes hit the road Vision so clear, like it's glass I can feel my life moving so fast Now I'm thinking all about my forecast I was on YouTube with Dom here from Payday Pickups And I'm back with another video And for today's video, we are going to be doing another trip to the thrift and once again, we are going to be hitting up Bulk Vintage. If you don't know what Bulk Vintage is, I did it in my trip to the thrift number four. It's basically a huge vintage warehouse just on the outskirts of Philadelphia. And it's got loads of boxes just full of secondhand clothes at really good price points and a load of different brands. But before we jump into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. And also, if you're wondering why the vlog's are a little bit shaky, unfortunately, I managed to snap my tripod somehow. I don't know how I think it happened in my bag. So I'm doing this vlog completely handheld. But anyways, let's so The reason why I love making these thrifting videos for you lot, I like showcasing a load of different stores for you and show you how cheap you can actually get some really good quality clothes for. I'm hoping that this time at Bulk Vintage I'll find some really good stuff because I'm getting there early, it's only been one hour, so hopefully not all the good stuff will be gone and I'm hoping today I'll find a grail. If you ever come to America too, you need to try this brownie from 7-Eleven, the Reese's Peanut Butter Brownie, 150, it's really cheap and it's so good. I've just got off the train now outside of Philly. It's probably like half an hour outside of Philadelphia. And honestly, today the weather is insane. Like it's so sunny. I mean, it's not the warmest, that's why I've still got a fleece on, but it's just beautiful seeing a bright blue sky for once. Oh, you know, you know. Oh, oh. If you wanna ride, we can go. We can touch the sky, yeah, I know. I'm only a kid, it's a hit or miss. We can feel the vibes hit the road. Vision so clear, like it's glass. I can feel my life moving so fast. Now I'm thinking all about my forecast. Cause I'm fighting first, I'm really last. Start with the branded champion box. I'm gonna go through, and basically, what you do if you haven't seen my previous video is you take the stuff and you put it onto a rug right here, and then you choose whatever you want, put it in the basket, and then you pay at the end. Champion sweatshirt right here. It's not embroidered, it's printed. It's got some nice distressing around the cuffs, and it's a size extra large, too. No stains whatsoever, so I'm gonna hold on to this. So just came across this red champion with the black embroidered right there, size extra large, and it has the C on the sleeve, so I'm gonna hold on to this as well. We're gonna check out the Adidas, Nike, and Puma box. So majority of here is just a load of old t-shirts right here. You can see it's a V-neck Jordan tee. We have got a just an old Nike tee. Sick Nike windbreaker right here. Unfortunately, it's kids, but it is a white tag, so it's it's 12 years old and on the back is this sick huge Nike tick. I think kids does a lot harder to sell so I'm gonna give it a miss. This white feeler kind of bomber jacket. It's had some like bleach stains but I think it makes it look quite cool to be honest. I'm gonna hold on to this and it's just got the navy down the strip right there and it is in a size large as well, large women's. Sick Nike windbreaker once again with the white tag but unfortunately it's kids and on the back it just says, you can see it, Nike right there. It's a nice pine green. Nice forest grey Adidas sweatshirt right here. Wish it was Adidas equipment, size large. I'm gonna hold on to this. For the next box, this one's a steal. It's $5 champion sweatshirt. So, see what we can find in here because $5 is literally nothing. Sick hoodie, got a nice road iron embroidered in light blue. Put it on the hood. And there's also road iron down the sleeve as well as the champion suit. But only $5, that is nothing. So, I think I'm gonna cop. Onto my favorite box, it's the Polar Ralph, Tommy, and Nautica. And we can see literally on the top, the first find, this Nautica quarter zip for in a size small, forest green, I'm definitely gonna cop that. The Ralphy zip up hoodie, this is in literally perfect condition. I used to work at Ralph and an outlet and these would go for like 85, let alone the retail, these were like 120 pounds. So I'm gonna hold on to this too. I can't believe what I've just found. This is a Nautica spell out coat. We've got the Nautica challenge embroidery down the sleeve. And then we've got the nice sign right here. I don't know what that says. It says J class, it's got the Nautica on the back. And it is in size double XL. So I'm gonna try it on, see how actually big it is, but definitely gonna try and cop it. Across another Nautica coat right here. It's like a kind of khaki green. This is reversible, I can tell. It's got the fleece in a line, it's reversible, but I'm not really a big fan of the color, so I'm gonna give this one a miss. Full Nautica knitwear right here, red, black, and white. It's actually really clean. 
size extra large, looks huge so I might hold on to this but I'm not sure. Tell instantly from seeing the wash of these, just found these near the bottom, it says Tommy jeans right there and on the back we have the beautiful Tommy patch right there and these are actually in my size 34, 34, they're very wide leg but I could just get them tapered so I'm definitely going to keep these. A pair of vintage Tommy denim, these are a pair of carpenter shorts on the sleeve but right here we've got the Tommy jeans part, unfortunately these look absolutely huge, I think they're like a 38 waist so I'm going to give these a miss but honestly a beautiful piece. These Ralphie white jeans, don't know if they're men's or women's but they're honestly so sick the Ralphie patch right there unfortunately they've got a few stains but they are beautiful nice bits of details but I'm gonna have to give them a miss a pile of clothes I've already got I think I'm keeping for myself and then this is the pile that I just don't want so you just put it on the pile like that and then you basically throw it back in once you're done I've still got so much more to go to go into Cancun for the spring break and I need some swim shorts I actually might cop these in my size medium these red Tommy ones the strings kind of I oh know the strings actually fine it's through here so size medium my size I'm gonna hold on to these as well but Ralphie quarters it this is a nice gray one with the navy pony feels pretty much brand new still size large a really good size i'm gonna hold on to this as well there's tommy's apollo old logo leave that Got some more jeans <laughs> uh, what's that that's tommy shit okay fuck off oh, look at that it's the badge right there it looks like a coat and these are things that go for so much money so I swear now this is literally worth fucking loads we've got the red and the white and then on the back we've got the tommy badge right there huge logo looks like it's got no stains whatsoever let's see this sleeve it's got the red on this sleeve and then the white on this sleeve and the sick sick ass tommy hill figure embroidery this is definitely gonna be one for the personal what's this size extra large so hopefully it is not too big on me i'd usually wear a large in coats but i'll try this on but this is honestly the best find of the day so this shows that you should always check to the bottom like i've gone through all that amount there's all that left and i found this literally this hidden gem near the bottom i don't know how no one's come and found this it must have been a fresh batch but this thing is beautiful i'm gonna check out the north face and patagonia socks seems like it's full of load of fleeces but let's see what we can find sick cream and kind of gray north face fleece right here size large men's but kind of looks more like a women's i think it might be a women's actually and it's got the gray patch on the sleeves might hold onto this but it's not too good this box is just full of pretty much the same fleeces the black one right here as well as this kind of gray one right here that i mentioned previously through all of that and there's all this rest of this box to go i kind of can't be bothered it literally just seems like loads of standard north face fleeces so i'm gonna give this one a miss i didn't manage to find any patagonia unfortunately but if i had more time then maybe i would look through and if i could actually be bothered Looks right here it's just levi's jeans modern ones for only seven dollars each this is what i mean you can get jeans for so cheap good quality ones and then you could just go to a tailor's and pay like 10 to 15 pound that's cheaper than buying like a 60 pound pair of levi's so far it's been an incredible start i've literally found that tommy I found the Grail, I found the Nautica Grail, the Nautica Challenge one, I found a few like quarter zips and champion sweatshirts. I think there's a lot too, there's far too much there. I'm gonna have to filter through it at the end, but honestly, I'm so happy. I've only looked through three, no, four types of boxes now, but anyways, on to the next box. vlog I was looking for the Carhartt workers jackets and now I'm going to try and find it. Found this Carhartt workers jacket here unfortunately it's got loads of stains so I'm going to have to give this one a miss. There is another one here so hopefully this one's a bit better condition. It has stains once again but this thing is not too bad. Hopefully it's my size so I'm going to try this one on. I think I might have actually found the perfect one. The Carhartt jacket fits me perfectly. The only problem is it's got a tiny stain right here but it's not noticeable enough. Perfect sizing, love the colour, love the colour, might have to cop this. I'm going to ask how much it is first, but honestly, it's such a beautiful piece. Let's try down this varsity jacket. I look so American, literally with the beige pants as well. It's a little bit short on me, but it's got the nice leather sleeves. The quality is honestly amazing. It's got the nice patches and it's got a print on the back too. This is the Buffalo Bill sweatshirt box. I don't know why it's just, just Buffalo Bills, but if you remember last time, I found three sweatshirts from this box. And in Canada, I found that split sweatshirt. So hopefully I'll find something nice because they have a really nice colorway. It's basically they have a navy, a blue and a red and a white. So it all goes really well. Hopefully I'll find some nice sweatshirts. We got a gray. Nope. See, this is what I mean more better. Sick embroidery, Buffalo Bills, a nice emblem, Buffalo Bills, and then we've got the nice red neck. I'm gonna hold onto this piece. This is beautiful. And it is in a size extra large to so my size too. 
and another one. This one's probably even better. The emblem is so sick. Same brand as the other one, and this once again, it is in my size. I, I might actually keep this for the personal, but I'm an Eagles fan, I'm not a Buffalo Bills fan, but still, honestly, sick piece. For these collared sweatshirts as well, I tried to go for the embroidered ones. So as you see, this one's a printed one. It's a really clean print, but it just doesn't feel as good quality. I much prefer finding an embroidered one. Moving on to the branded Pro Sport sweatshirts. I think this is just literally all the other types of brands. So we have, this is a New York Yankees one. So this is going to be taking the piss again, but once again, I'm just going to be looking for the embroidery. I'm not a big fan of the print. On this is so sick. This Titan sweatshirt, extra large, yeah, my size, amazing. It's like a badge and embroidered as well. So sick. This is a definite cop. Look at the sick patches, the black and white stripe, and the ribbon, size large. Such a clean piece. Tommy Hilfiger, Kansas Chiefs, definitely gonna cop this. That's so sick. It's like a leather patch as well. Like here's the whole denim jacket, so you can tell it's a thick and heavyweight quality, size large, no stains whatsoever, more piles of denim jackets. Then we've got the track jackets, this new balance jacket is so wavy, I love that logo right there. We have kind of like the, I don't even know what you call them, like chains and flowers on it. Just a load of random like silky jackets, like look how sick these are, especially with festival season coming up in summer. Definitely recommend copping some of this stuff. Here you can get a load of festival essentials, you can get like tie-dye, it's all the bandanas, we've got golf shirts, we've got Indians, we've literally got literally everything. We've got belts, pantyhose, and all this stuff is so cheap. We've got ties, bow ties, north ties, silk shirts, velour shirts, blazers, 60s, 40s. Literally, that's how old some of this stuff is, isn't it? Apron, silk dress, you can pretty much just get anything. Blank t-shirts if you want to start making your own custom tees. We've got patterned dad shirts, we've got modern band tees, we've got scarves literally spend a whole day here there is honestly so much stuff to go through i think i'm gonna have to cut it early because i need to get back to do some uni work but so far i've got so much in my basket so i'm gonna have to filter through it and choose the best stuff as you can see i uh, completely splashed out i've got three full bags and obviously the two grails the tommy and the nautica coat probably the most i've ever copped in one thrifting session apparently they're going to be having a big thing where they're going to be doing a huge like depot thing where they just drop a load of stuff off and it's gonna be like two dollars for everything so i'm definitely gonna head down to that next month definitely recommend coming to bulk vintage if you're ever in philadelphia so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to vlog this part because as you saw i've got three full bags of shopping so the next time you'll see me it'll be back at my place and i'll showcase every one of the pieces that i copped from today so i'm back in my room in philadelphia from a long day of thrifting at bulk vintage and it's probably the most i've ever copped at a trip to the thrift that we have right here one bag two bags and then last but not least three bags full of stuff so instead of going over every single item like I usually do I'm gonna showcase like the five best ones I'm gonna talk about them then the rest of them I'm just gonna do a little kind of lookbook and close-ups to kind of make this video not too long for you lot so the first item I'm gonna talk about and you've probably seen this in the thumbnail it's an absolute grail and I can't believe I found this because the previous time bullet vintage I didn't find anything this good this absolute Tommy Hilfiger Grail. We have the huge Tommy Hilfiger badge right there, the Tommy Hilfiger embroidery down the sleeve, white on this side, and then on this side we have red, and then on the back we have the Tommy Hilfiger tab as well as the red and the white. And it's just in perfect condition, like we have the Tommy details on the zipper, and it's in a size extra large, but I tried it on and it fits me really well. I'm definitely gonna keep it for the personal. So the second item, which is also a grail, it is this Nautica kind of windbreaker in the forest green. We have Nautica challenge down the sleeve embroidered, Nautica on the back, we also have Nautica on the buttons, and then on the other sleeve, it just says J class. I think it's just a rowing jacket. I really like the colorway of it. It's a size double XL, but I think it must be shrunk or something because it fits me perfectly. So it fits probably like a large, that's extra large. Third item, and this is an item I've been wanting for so long. You would have seen this in my last bulk vintage video and I've been looking for this in thrift stores all over and this was such a good price to sleep on it is this Carhartt kind of I don't know if it's a worker's jacket it's got the nice corduroy colour right there nice colour I love the beige colour heavy weight got the Carhartt logo right there unfortunately it has a few stains right there I kind of wish they weren't there I'm going to try and wash them out I don't think they're going to come out but it gives it a kind of nice vintage aesthetic 
<laughs> this thing honestly stinks of vintage old clothes that definitely needs a wash, but it's such a beautiful jacket. And I got this for, I think it was $25, which works out about 18 pounds. Like, these were retail at like 120, so this is such a steal. And then I've got loads of bags of sweatshirts and stuff. One more item I'll show you is I found these vintage pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Definitely gonna keep these for myself. The 3434, you have the Hilfiger patch embroidered right there. And we also have the Tommy details on the buttons. They are, unfortunately they're extremely baggy fit. So when I go back to England, I'm gonna go to a tailor's because tailors in America are so expensive. So I'm gonna get these tailored for like 10 pounds when I go home. And then now we're gonna jump onto the kind of like B-roll showcasing all the other items that I've copped and a few on body shots because there is so many college sweatshirts that I can't be bothered going one by one through them because it'll honestly bore you lot. If you like enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to go. Be sure to check out the rest of my trip to the thrifts. I found stuff like Supreme, Palace, Mason Margiela, Golf La Fleurs, Balenciaga, even the Gucci A sneakers. I definitely recommend checking them out. I go thrifting in Philly as well as New York. But have a nice day and I'll see you lot in the next one.